Hey guys, I'm going to discuss to you about Aristotle's model of communication. I hope you can learn something and yeah, enjoy watching. Oh, hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about Aristotle's models of communication. But before that, let's have a quick chat. Who is Aristotle? So Aristotle is the most famous philosophist and ancient Greek. He studied in Platonic Academy and he is a student of Plato and a teacher of Alexander the Great. He also founded the Lyceum for Apollo Lysias. He had a lot of writings. His writings covered many fields like ethics, philosophy, politics, and many more. And unfortunately, Aristotle died on 322 BC due to intestinal disease. Ever wonder how could a human do as fascinating as that? Anyway, let's hop into our main topic, the Aristotle's models of communication. So let's start. Communication occurs when two or more persons share an idea or an argument. So, an Aristotle's model is the first model ever introduced in our history. It is widely used in seminars, presentations, and campaigns, and many more. It is also called a linear model and is used more on influencing people. Like in campaigns, you want them to vote for you. You would always try your best to have your pulse and you want them to respond on your goal, which is to vote for you. Linear model shows how Aristotle explained his perspective about communication. It is like you're convincing them and wanting to get their pulse, even if it won't be everyone. There are few reminders in making your own speech or simple communication. Number one, be very careful in choosing of words. Sometimes, simple mistakes of words and misuse of it can be okay to some but then times when people get triggered suddenly by jokes or some words neglecting your ideas and even hating you. No, we don't want that. So be careful on your choices. Next is understanding your target audience. Understanding your target audience means knowing their interests, culture, beliefs, and many other things to know about them. By knowing the target audience gives the speaker confidence and also gives reassurance to the audience who he's pertaining to. Next is creating an eye contact. So this is one of the most important in public speaking. It gives connection to the audience and also earning their trust for you. Next is speak clearly and properly. By clearly maintaining your Goals gives encouragement to the audience and also enlightening them, making them agree on you more, your ideas and your thoughts. How's that? The next up is a nonverbal. Speaker can extend their message in a nonverbal way. This could help the audience to appreciate the speaker more. Delivery depends on occasion and it could give great impact to the presentation. The speaker must practice things like gestures, reactions, and few highlightings of words to make it less boring. So that is for Aristotle's model. I hope you learned something from watching the video.